Hi everyone. A New Day family member posted that December is the most wonderful time of the year. I agree, because it's a time when we can all recenter our lives around the Savior and be reminded of what Jesus was born into this world to do. And to facilitate this, and as a means of honoring and expressing our love uh, to God and His Son for all they've done, we are doing three things this month. First, this Sunday, we are launching a new message series simply called The Christmas Story. This series will prepare us to celebrate the day that the light entered into the darkness to give you and I hope, peace, joy, and the assurance that God loves us more than we could have ever hoped or imagined. Second, in addition to our online services, we are going to have another in-person service on Sunday, December 20th at 9 a.m. So all who would like to gather to celebrate the birth of our Lord together can do so. All the safety protocols we put in place for our Thanksgiving service will be in place for this one. So you can come and be at ease and simply focus on worshiping our King. Third, this month, we are all being given the opportunity and privilege of giving a special Christmas offering as a means of expressing our love and gratitude to God and His Son for all they've done for us in the past and for all they've been doing recently to get us individually and as a whole spiritual family safely through the difficulties of 2020. As a medium-sized church, for us to have been able to pivot and to continue to minister effectively and to not just survive but thrive during the challenges of the last several months is nothing short of miraculous. To God be the glory, great things He has done. And now we can express our love and gratitude by giving a generous gift back to God during this most holy of all seasons so as to ensure that His church will continue and get safely through to the end of this global crisis. It is projected that the COVID vaccine will have been distributed far and wide by the end of March. So the end of this crisis is near and we wanna make sure that we're still here, preaching the gospel and advancing God's kingdom when this is all over, right? And part of what's going to keep us going for His glory is our generosity at this critical time. In the month of November, our giving was down a bit. We have some cushion, so we're not in trouble yet, but we could be if that pattern uh, continues. Let's not let that happen. We've come so far and the end of the crisis is so near. So let us rise up as a whole church family and say with our special Christmas offerings that we're going to get all the way through this and continue being a light in the darkness for our Savior. And so that you'll know that my wife and I are in this with you, along with our regular tithe, we are going to give an additional $500 this month as our special Christmas offering. I know many of you can match this. Some of you could give more than that amount. Others may not be able to give as much, but you could give 100, 200, 300, or 400. In your situation, what would be a generous amount for you to give, give that as your special Christmas offering to the glory and honor of God and as an expression of your great love for Him and Jesus His Son. I love you, God bless you, and I look forward to seeing many of you on Sunday, December 20th.